Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I just wanted to make this quick video um, to give you guys a little bit of help if you've been having some issues using an ultra wide monitor with uh, OBS. Now, the monitor that I'm using is the LG uh, monitor that I just did the unboxing and initial impressions of. And I was looking and I couldn't really find an easy way. Uh, to use OBS with the ultra wide monitor. So this is going to pertain to if you have an LG monitor that lets you use their on screen control software, which I think is a really good software to help with this kind of thing, um, as it does let you kind of auto snap uh, applications to whatever kind of screen split that you set in their program. So what you guys are seeing right now is just my DAW here in the traditional 16 by 9 aspect ratio that you expect to see but what I am actually looking at is this now this is the full 21 by 9 aspect ratio you would expect to see an ultra wide monitor and this is great because I can have for the stream or for recording or you know whatever else I'm doing this can be what's visible to the viewers and then I have this little 4 by 9 window over here for anything that I want to do with now this is normally where I have OBS so I can see my audio settings I can see a preview of what's going on without having to use an extra monitor this just is using you know this little split of the screen to see now I'm going to show you guys quickly how to do this so like I said this pertains if you have an LG ultra wide monitor that you can use the on-screen control software with so you're going to go to the on-screen control um, little widget that pops up at the, the top bar and you're going to go to screen split and now this is the option that I used um, and this is you know the one that you're probably going to want to do this effectively gives you a 16 by 9 window over here and then on this side it gives you a 4 by 9 window for additional information so now what you're going to do is go into settings and then you're going to go to video and make sure your base canvas is 1920 by 1080 which is going to give you the 16 by 9 uh, uh, aspect ratio and you can see it right there I can't change the settings because I'm recording but you see the aspect ratio is going to be the 16 by 9 so click OK now what you're going to want to do is make a new source I already have my sources set up but I'll, I'll go through it with you guys so you're going to hit the plus down by sources and the first one you're going to want to do is a new window capture this one I'll call this uh, test cap okay now for the properties for it and I'll drag this over here so it's in the middle um, I'm gonna have this go to a specific window now since my screen is already split you can see that Ableton is already there um, you know in, in this side of the window if I click and drag it you can see the green bars uh, the green border that's how in the software you know what window you're aligning where so if I were to drag Ableton over here then it resizes it to the four by nine window. If I drag it back over here, this is back to the 16 by nine. So you wanna show, in this case, I wanna show my DOS. So you're gonna to go to window, I'm gonna click live, and then this is name of the session. So I'll click that, and then we're gonna click okay. Now, as you guys can see, there is um, a little bit of weirdness on the screen. So I'm just gonna right click on the screen and actually let me drag the other one on top so you can see this so okay this is my ultra wide thing this is what I'm looking at right, right here so I'm gonna double click on this uh, test cap that I made okay and this is definitely the window that I want to do so what I'm gonna do is right click on the screen and go to transform and then I'm going to stretch it to the screen now if I if you do that you can see it got rid of all the black bars and everything like that so I went ahead and did the stretch to screen now if I turn off the ultra wide that I have right here and I just let the test cap come through this is what you see so now it's stretched the video to fit the, uh, the aspect ratio 16 by 9 and everything should look good on your screen right now this should be what you expect to see um, I'll bring my camera back on top of this uh, right, real quick so yeah that's pretty much how you do it um, you go let's go back to the ultra wide okay so you go to settings make sure your video is you know a 16 by 9 ratio whatever you want to use 1920 by 1080 is what I used and then you go into on-screen control make sure you have your uh, screen split set and then 
go to your sources, add a source. Uh, now, to add the ultra wide source, if for whatever reason, you know, in this scenario, you wanted to show someone your full ultra wide setup, you're going to go to add source. Now, instead of window capture, you're going to do a display capture. Now, this one I'm going to call ultra wide test. Okay. Now, when you get to where it's asking you, and I'll drag this over so you can see it. So now when you get to where it's asking you the properties, you want to do no crop. And you can already see a preview of what it would look like. It's not cropping any information. It's just going to throw the full 21 by 9 aspect ratio. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now, this ultra wide window over here ultra wide test let's drag that up okay and this is what you should see um, at this point it looks a little bit weird because I have the other uh, window down here the test cap and the other screen crop so we'll turn these off real quick but yeah this is pretty much where what you're gonna get if you just have the ultra wide on and then if you want it to have your your cropped version on you're just gonna have that on top turn that on and this would be the 16 by 9 so that's pretty much how you do it guys um, let me know if you have any questions about it uh, I just want to make this quick video because it's something that I was a little confused on because I haven't been using OBS for that long um, only a couple of days now but if you have any questions drop a comment down below and um, I'll definitely get back to you guys now for one last thing um, I am gonna be making another video soon going over how to use your Apollo um, with OBS. Now for me, um, I, I've seen a couple videos, but some didn't you know, exactly explain it the way that I wanted to do it. Um, right now I have my, this is console right here. I have my, I'm just using SM57 plug directly into it. I'm using the Voxbox uh, Unison preamp, which is cool because it kind of saves me from having to do um, some of the uh, post audio processing I might do on the microphone. So I'm going to explain how to do this. And one, I definitely didn't see anyone explain um, so far. It might be a video out, but I just haven't seen it. It's how to use ADAT. Um, if you have a second interface that you're connecting with the optical cable to the Apollo and you want to record that and use that with OBS, as you can see um, in OBS, let me drag that over. Yeah. So this is why I actually have uh, Mike Scarlet ADAT because that's normally the way that I connected um, in my in the back of my Apollo. I have uh, my keyboard left and right inputs occupying um, the two since I have the twin quad. Um, so normally I just use ADAT. So I'll, I'll be making a full video in the next couple of days explaining how to do that. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about this whole ultra wide setup. Um, drop a comment down below but yeah I think that's it for this video guys um, if you have any other questions feel free to just drop a comment down below but hopefully this video helped because it's something that I was a little confused about so appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video